The energy efficiency exhibition is actually a combination of a week-long schedule of uh, activities aimed at sensitizing people of Zambia on the importance of energy conservation. Prior to this exhibition, a number of activities were undertaken by various participating organizations with the objective of indeed sensitizing the public on what each one of us can do and must do to conserve energy. We want to be very concerned with, with women cooking or small children. This is completely customer friendly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in, in the real life, yeah. this is how it would look like? This is it, it basically in real life, what this diagram shows here is how it's a hybrid, how it combines your cooking, your geezer, and your electric bill all combined in one low cost energy alternative. This is a diagram and it shows the different products that we offer. We do a two burner, a three to four burner, and then we could also do custom made to the client's needs. We also have a tap here so that you can have instant hot water. You wake up in the morning, turn this on, you've got instant hot water. And uh, what is uh, here? It's the ash. Uh -huh. So what happens is uh, when you see the, the way it's burning, then the ash automatically drops and then you don't throw away this. This is now just a many type of fish where you plow it in your little garden, you till it with your soil because it's you very rich in potassium. Or you make your fish so. <laughs> Yes, because we're trying to beat the Zespa approach of the load shedding. So if we can cut down on heating and giza issues, then we can make as many of these to go around the country. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mr. Mwanza has, has come up with a number of uh, patents and uh, we are very glad as a patent office to have uh, this kind of innovation through a, a local person like Mr. Mwanza and uh, we, we encourage people to come forward in the, same, in the same way that Mr. Mwanza has done. I used to be one of the committed participants of JETS and uh, during that period of JETS, that's from starting from 1984 to around about 89. I used to come up with very interesting ideas and uh, it's during these, those participation that uh, I got a lot of hints from various people who could come by my stand and advise me that I should have my ideas protected. But the major uptake has been from foreign patents. You will find that through the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO and ARIPO in, the, in Zimbabwe, there have been a lot of foreign patents coming in and 75% uh, I should say in Zambia here are foreign patents. It's only a small fraction of patents which come from local people. We have given recognition to some inventors who are on our books as having invented and they, are, uh, they have had their inventions protected in Zambia. We have recognized them through perhaps uh, token payments of a token of appreciation to encourage them to go ahead and innovate even further. In recognition of his efforts, Pacro, as in the year 2010, awarded him a prize. It is a call from innovators like Mwanza to government and the country at large that intellectual property rights must be given respect because their contribution to the country's development remain indispensable.